Let's check out Candace Owens ripping Prince. My bad, my bad. Talking about the Prince, <laughs> Prince, Prince Harry. Um, and you know, stay in her opinion on him, man. If you want to watch the full video, check out her video. The link will be sourced down below, man. That's what I want you guys to do. You know, actually, to the, the videos I actually, you know, react to is check them out. Check them out uninterrupted, man. Show them some love, man. Show them some love if you feel like it. All right, let's check out Candace Owens, man. She's always amazing. Let's check it out. Let me jump right into providing you some passages. And let's just start with the prologue of the book, because this is actually in it. Ready? Quote, all at once, something shifted inside of me. I looked at Willie, really looked at him. Maybe for the first time since we were boys, I took it all in. His familiar scowl. Pause. Um, yeah, he's, he sounds really dramatic in this book. Just as dramatic as his wife. Bunch of drama for those two. Which had always been his default in dealings with me. His alarming baldness, more advanced than my own. His famous resemblance to mummy, which was fading with time, with age. In some ways, he was my... <laughs> the way she's a mummy. He was a Mr. Mummy. A mirror. In some ways, he was my opposite. My beloved brother. My arch nemesis. How Damn. had this happened? His alarming baldness. Though? He's alarmed by his brother's... I mean, is, uh, yeah, that's crazy, though. You were, I ain't going for it. Anytime I see my brother, and I, I notice... The hairline ain't quite right. I'm alarmed. It's because I know I got like four more years, son. Oh, yeah. Like I seen him get the gray hairs in his beard. I was like, damn, man. Hopefully I got a few more years. I, I had like one. I had like one. Now I got like a few gray hairs. Um, but I was alarmed, son. I was <laughs> probably not in a way that uh, the prince was. He was probably petrified seating hairline he felt the need to put that in a book because it's petty and it's small to offer commentary on how your brother is losing his hair and it's petty and it's small to say that you don't even look like mommy anymore because you lost your hair and petty and small is really yeah, go to my arch nemesis <laughs> that takes petty times said hey i ain't mad at a little bit of petty uh petty is funny know what i mean um as long as you don't go overboard I think he's going overboard. What this book is all this about. Is her. Now, what's incredible is that Harry obviously grew up in palaces. Palaces. So there's just no way that we can connect, right? How many of us have grown up in palaces? How many of us can write a passage in our book about how we grew up in a cast? Not me. Not me, bro. Not I, said BX Beast Boy with our brother a cat Tell you, hold on just in case they want to know my history how bx beast boy grew up out here in east street i'm sick of worrying about the government i can't eat i'm broke nigga i'm broke right, yo there's never a time where i look at that clip and i don't just start laughing bro that's such a funny clip Oh, man, that's funny. Castle that had 50 bedrooms. He's talking about the castle in Scotland, which was one of the queen's favorites. Balmoral had 50 bedrooms, he says in chapter two, oh, one of which so had been divided for me and Willie. Adults called it the nursery. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to get back to what Kid is saying. We were winding back, actually. I don't want to miss anything she said, man. What she says is so valuable. I don't want to miss it. Oh, uh, but damn it, Fab, if I had a friend that said this, I've got, I'd be like, yo, Fab, you want a sandwich? You hungry, man? Let's go get some sandwiches, man. Let's get some sandwiches. Let's, let's talk about this. We, we can figure it out. I said, I'm sick of worrying about the government. I can't eat. It's one of the queen's favorites. Balmoral oh, had man. 50 bedrooms, he says in chapter two, one of which had been divided for me and Willie. Adults called it the nursery. Willie had the larger half with a double bed a good sized basin, a cupboard with mirrored doors, a beautiful window looking down on the courtyard, the fountain, really, the bronze statue. He really took notes of what his brother had. Well, yeah, if it, from when they was infants. Like, I don't, okay. Um, that's a lot of hurt feelings right there. <laughs> of a roe deer buck. This dude. My half of the room was far smaller, less luxurious. I never asked why I didn't care, but I in the castle in the castle 
I also didn't need to ask. Two years older than me, palace. Willie was the heir, whereas I was the spare. Well, you see, uh, Harry, what happens when you divide a room it, yeah. is that somebody does have to get the less better half. Somebody gets the view, somebody doesn't. And typically, Harry, in case no one has ever told you this, the older oh, sibling always gets the bigger room. The big That's facts. That's facts. Yeah. That's just the way it goes, bro. Bigger side, the bigger everything, because they're the older sibling. This is not unique to you. It is not because you are the spare. It is not because he is the heir. This happens in households all over the world. In fact, I am one of three sisters and we had an older brother. My older brother, would you believe us three sisters had to share a room while our older brother got his own room? Candace got some sister? Are they, they single? No. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Let me... <laughs> Yo, wait. <laughs> Stop, too. Ooh, no, no, no. Um, I've been trying not to laugh hard lately. Don't ask me why. I've been trying. Whenever I get into my my laugh, I, I try to try to stop. Maybe I shouldn't try to like cover up my laugh, but I feel like sometimes it's a lot. But whatever. Damn, I can't help it. That was... Don't judge me. Don't judge me, man. Growing up, were we the three spares? Is it worthy of putting it into a book? Of course not, but it's not enough because he goes on to describe this dynamic. I was brought into the world in case something happens to Willie. I was summoned to provide backup, distraction, diversion, and if necessary, a spare part. A kidney, perhaps. Blood transfusion. What? Speck of bone marrow. This is the best part. Bruv. Yo, I, don't, I don't think they had you just to have spare body parts. I, I don't think that was actually a thing. I think that you're definitely over exaggerating right now. I think you're being emotional. You're being real emotional. Like, like they had one boy and a daughter. That's what it sound like. It's like they, they, they had a daughter the way you talking over here crying this was all made explicitly yeah, clear to me from the start of life's journey and regularly reinforced thereafter oh do you does anybody actually believe that it was made explicitly clear to him that they might need him for a speck of bone marrow <laughs> this is how it works it's just because you're siblings that's crazy <laughs> yeah that's true i don't know what type of like fairy tales was he reading i don't know if he like Red Cinderella was just like, I like that. I, I like that. Let me just take some elements for that. I need them to feel bad for me. Learned a lot from your woman there, brother. Uh, I mean, sister. Learned a lot from your woman there, sister. Over here, being all crazy. Hey, Rumi, hey, I want to be very clear. Second sibling, you are here for a speck of bone marrow. You're here for a blood transfusion, perhaps a kidney, perhaps. That's why you're here. And we want to make that explicit. We want to see, even know what explicit means. I mean, that is such a ridiculous lie that do. any person told him that he existed for a speck of bone marrow. But go with it, guys. Go with it. Because he really needs you to realize that these very mundane things that he's experiencing as the younger brother um it's it's deep and it's a lot it gets it's, it's not <laughs> yo he just he's just being a real sensitive baby back you know i'm trying not to curse no i'm gonna say baby back bitch me being you being real soft bro you being real soft in fact that that's the way i could say it. he acting like a straight biatch I'm going to pronounce every so biatch is what he sound like right now. Crying. It's harder because you're not going to believe this. Then him and his brother went to the same school and that school is Eaton. It's, it's an all boys school. It holds students, boys from the ages of 13 to 18. It's considered right. the best school in the UK. He talks about how once he became enrolled in the school, you're not going to believe this. His older brother wanted to make it clear that he didn't want to hang out with him in the school, right? Which is 
pretty normal. Let, let's hear. That is normal. Bro. Like, if me and my brother was in the same school, I definitely think he would not want me hanging around him and all his friends at all times, 24-7, all in the school following him. Just following him. That sound. <laughs> Yo, that is wild. Hear it in Harry's old world so, because, because I, don't, I couldn't dramatize it in the way that he does with his own words. Harry says, Willie told me to pretend that I didn't know him. What? You don't know me, Harold, and I don't know you. For the last two years, he explained, Eaton had been his sanctuary. No kid brother tagging along, pestering him with questions, pushing up on his social circle. He was forging his own life, and he wasn't willing to give that up. It's like I'm watching an episode of Degrassi. It's like, like if, if I read his book, it would have been like, like watching a straight up episode of Degrassi. That, that's what type of stuff we would have been sitting there having to partake in. That is insane, bro. <laughs> Whoa. For Willie, it was pure agony to wear the same blazer, the same tight shorts as me. And now to attend the same school was pure murder. I told him not to worry. I'll forget I ever knew you. Pure murder. Oh, my God. I guess that didn't work. I guess I would prefer that if I was him, especially if you was acting like this your whole life, I'd have been sick of you. I'd have been sick of you, bro. Like, no wonder he like at school. Can you please just give me my peace? Like, uh, I just don't want to be near you. I don't want to be near you. You're a loser. Stay away from your combo. Piece of, nah, you know what? <laughs> I don't know what else you probably said. But damn, yo, this is annoying. I'm not even like his brother here. Me just sitting here and listening. I'm like, ugh. Ugh, like, why are you acting like a, a little girl? Could you imagine that taking place? Siblings saying, hey, don't even talk to me in school. Oh, I, I bet you could imagine because this happens in every household. I actually have the unique scenario where me and my two sisters, because we were all exactly a year and a half apart, all three of us went to the same high school. At the who's the youngest and who's the oldest? The exact same time. And of course, we were trying to forge our own existences. Our, we did not want to hang out with each other. We would yeah. yell at each other if we wore the same shirt, the same color. We'd pull up at school and I would look at my little sister and be like, don't even look at me today. Don't even look at me. If you <laughs> yeah, that's good. Don't even look at me. If we got to walk together, you 10 steps behind me. You talking about I ain't trying to follow you or you follow me. You see me in the hallway. Stop hanging out with the same people as me. I remember, and I'm just coming out with this now because God forbid my little... That's regular stuff, bro. That's right, because I can't even imagine as females <laughs> to you know, probably be going in definitely with the outfits and all that. I think that would just be awkward as hell if like you had like a little brother and like motherfuckers wearing the same colors. Oh, that'd be crazy. Sister writes a book and I, it's called Spare. And she talks about the trauma that I put her through. I did this. I want to come clean. When Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera were both dropping their music in the 2000s, I told my sister that she had to pick whether or not she was team Christina or team Britney. And she said she liked both of their music. I that's that's gangster. <laughs> she said, listen, you ain't going to be bumping Britney and Christina up in this household. You going to pick a side. You gonna pick. I've heard that argument with all types of groups, NSYNC and Backstreet Boys. I mean, I've seen these two girls really about to fight over, I think it was Little Bow Wow and Romeo. They was really about to scrap. I told her she had to pick. And she picked Britney and I told her that she wasn't allowed to listen to Christina Aguilera's music or hang out with anybody that liked Christina Aguilera like I did. So I guess that was a childhood trauma and it is worthy of $25 million to put into a book about awful treatment. Nah. Not at all. Not at all. I mean, how absolutely normal is it? That oh, Willie does not want to hang Slap out with his little face. brother in school when he's around him all the time. How absolutely normal that he doesn't want to wear the same clothes. Not if you are Prince Harry. Now, here's where it gets really interesting because this is what happened one time when they were at Egan together. Basically, he goes and he recounts the story about how one of his mates, Harry's mates, completely not related at all to Willie. What is that on the side? A cupcake? 
Oh, pancake on this. My bad. I got this shirt. I look I'm like, I didn't even noticed there was like a little Danish on the side. Man, does she eat the Danish after she finished doing the, you know, the, the video? I was wondering about stuff like that. Is there coffee in that cup for real? I would have stuff in there like Gatorade or like a ginger ale. Maybe sometimes just a cold ass water. I have somebody come out, pour me some water up in there, some cold freezing water. Convinced him to shave off his hair, right? And so Harry cuts his hair and the haircut looks really bad. And he starts freaking out and realizes that he's made a big mistake. And all of his. No, this dude is hurt. This dude is hurt. This is stuff that I would turn into a joke. I would turn it into a comedy routine. This dude is, oh, I got to tell you how I've been offended. I'm not even going to try to do an accent like him. Uh, I would probably mess it up anyway. Not good with accents. His mates are screaming and howling in laughter like, ah, ha, ha, you just shaved your head. You can picture this because that's how the lads are. It's all the lads do. The boys make fun of each other. They're like, ha, ha, this no. is hilarious. So Harold goes up to Willie's room and he finds him. And when Willie sees the haircut that Harry has given to himself. Probably laugh. That's what my brother would do. My brother would laugh his ass off for like. 20 minutes. You know, he can never take responsibility for anything About he's done. 20. It's always somehow Willie's fault. Willie Maybe. laughs, just like all the other lads had laughed, because apparently it was a ridiculous haircut that he gave to himself. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it works. Now, here's the conversation that he's having with himself. I was just hoping that Willie would tell me that it would be okay. Don't freak out. Keep calm, Harold. Instead, he laughed like the others. I recall him sitting. He wanted a babysitter. This dude wanted a full babysitter. You a grown ass man, bruh. You're grown. You ain't no baby. You a grown man. What, what are you? For real? Okay. All right, sir. Sitting at his desk, bent over a book, chuckling. While I stood before him, fingering the nubs on my newly bare scalp. Harold, what have you done? What a question. He sounded like Stewie from Family Guy. Wasn't it obvious? You sh What's wrong with, uh... <laughs> What's wrong with Harry, bro? What's wrong with Harry? Like, he, he gotta chill. He got to relax. Like, he's really bugging out right now. He got to calm down. You shouldn't have done it, Harold. Wow. So we're just stating the obvious now? He said a few more things that were immensely unhelpful, and I walked out. I think Harry's, oh, he's like 40 years old today. He, he actually thought he's a grown-ass man. But it was a good idea to put this into the book because it's supposed to make us understand how traumatizing his life was because he shaved off his own head nah. and to make his mates laugh. And then when his brother laughed, it was a trauma because his brother was supposed to hold him and say, it's okay that you did this stupid thing. It's, it's now somehow William's fault for not doing that. This is how- That's so, that's so stupid, bro. Are he looking for a babysitter? You're a grown man, bro. This book goes on and on and on. Whatever Harry does, it's somebody else's though. fault, right? Harry can make no mistakes. Remember, notoriously, he says that he wore the Nazi costume to a party, and but also that Will and Kate laughed at it. So he wants to share the blame in something wow. that was so clearly his own decision making. But this is... It is what it is, bro. Could just say, I was young, that's what I did. But instead it's, oh, no, they thought it was okay, too. I, yo, fam, I can't be around people like that. This, this is, I guess, we're supposed oh, to feel sad for him. Right? All right, guys, the next portion of the show. Fam, check out Candace Owens, man. Watch the video in full, uninterrupted by me, man. Uh, the link should be in the source within the description. Look under that, underneath that section. Hit the like button, drop some comments as well as subscribe if you haven't, and sign up for my Patreon if you're able to. If not, don't worry about it.